continue talking about the Carnival Vista, today's episode is focusing on the cabins. We're going to be talking about the different staterooms that you're going to find on board the ship. So, without further ado, let's get started with Episode 7. At full capacity, there are 4,716 passengers on board the Carnival Vista. There are 1,965 cabins for these passengers. There are a total of 14 decks on the ship, 12 of which have cabins on them. There are 11 different categories of staterooms. We're going to just be talking about a few of them today. The lowest category starts off with the small interior stateroom. It has upper and lower beds. There's, of course, the private bath with the shower. There's a sitting area. With the interior stateroom, you're going to have two twin beds that can convert to a king. You'll also have a pull-out sofa. You have a small sitting area. And, of course, you have the private bath with the shower. Moving on to the Ocean View Stateroom and the Deluxe Ocean Stateroom, you'll also find yourself having the twin beds that convert to a king, as well as a sofa bed. In the Deluxe one, you'll also have an extra bed available. Moving on to the staterooms that have balconies, we have the Cove Balcony Stateroom. They have two twin beds that can convert to a king, there's a private balcony, which carries usually two patio chairs and a small table, which you can usually use as a footstool. There's a sitting area with a chair and a coffee table. And of course, you have other amenities that you usually would find in the balcony staterooms. There is the Havana Cabana stateroom, which sleeps up to four people. It's 185 square feet. The balcony is much larger at 100 square feet. Now, what makes the Havana cabin so unique is that the balcony is actually before the boardwalk. So it is an ocean view, but there is area that people can walk on and they walk throughout the different cabins that there are. So it's not very private, but the balconies are large and you do have access to the Havana club lounge as well as the swimming pool. Next on is the balcony stateroom. This is about 185 square feet. The balcony is small at 35 square feet, and it sleeps up to four people, where again, you have the two twin beds that can convert to a king. You have a private bath with a shower. You have a sitting area with a chair and a coffee table. You also have the ability to have Havana cabins, which is included in the HI category. And that will give you access to the Havana pool and the Havana lounge until 5 p.m. There's also a Family Harbor Cove suite stateroom that will sleep up to five people. The cabin's about 275 square feet and the balcony is 65 square feet. There are two twin beds that will convert to a king bed. There's the private balcony as stated. There's also two bathrooms. One has a private bath with a shower and the other one has a junior tub and a sink. Of course, you have the sitting area with a chair and a coffee table. Keep in mind the patio is kind of small where you only have four patio chairs and two small tables. Next up is the premium balcony stateroom. It sleeps up to four people. The cabin is kind of small at 185 square feet for being premium, but the balcony is 75 square feet. It has everything as far as the amenities are concerned that you'll find in the other staterooms. It has the twin beds that will convert to a king. The difference here, it does have a wraparound balcony. And it is quite nice to have that. The perks of having these suites is that you do have two large closets and you have a dressing area with a vanity. Next up is the Ocean Suite Stateroom. It sleeps up to four people. Cabins are a little bit larger, 275 square feet. And the balcony is at 65 square feet. Some of these cabins have obstructed views and you really do want to check with your travel agent on this. You'll also have a pillow menu, which is always nice to have. It's a little extra that you throw in there, as well as bathrobes. And the balcony has a lounge chair as well. There is a private bath with a jacuzzi tub and shower. 
The last cabin we're going to talk about is the Grand Suite Stateroom. It sleeps up to four people. The cabin is 345 square feet and the balcony is 85 square feet. There are 10 of these staterooms on board the ship. There is that large private balcony and the two twin beds can convert into a king bed. There is also a walk-in closet and you have a refrigerator with a mini bar. The private bath is jacuzzi style and a shower as well. The balcony comes with a lounge chair. Of course, you get the pillow menu and you get the bathrobes. You get the same perks that you'd also get in the Ocean Suite stateroom. Some of the perks with this is the priority check-in, the priority luggage delivery, priority debarkation, and priority tender boarding. Usually the stateroom is ready when you board, and you'll get some complimentary in-suite bottled water, as well as complimentary bag of laundry. Well, that's it for this episode of The Trip People. I hope you enjoyed looking at the different staterooms and their categories of the Carnival Vista. Please subscribe to our channel and leave all the comments below. Join us for next episode where we're going to be talking about all inclusives. If you have any questions, please contact us at thetrippeople.com. Until next time, happy travels.